today, we're not just reviewing a car, we are also celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday, Robin Tails Fighter. He's a great friend of mine. He has his own channel where he makes some awesome content. I'll make sure to link it in the description below. Definitely make sure to check him out. He's helped me out on my channel basically every step of the way uh, over the last year. And as I said, he has some great content on his own channel, including his Cars Universe series. For his birthday, he requested that I review this, the Fireball Beach Racer Mater variant. It was a variant because he's looking down compared to the original who's looking up. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. You already saw who we're reviewing, I already talked about it. It's the Beach Racer Mater variant. Released a little bit after the original Fireball Beach Racer Mater, I got this guy in December of 2018, but I never got around to reviewing him, simply because I had so many cars to review because of that Christmas, and then I kept on finding new cars after that Christmas, and this Mater and Fireball Beach Racer Rich Mixon were two of those. Uh, and I decided, you know what, I have so many reviews to do, I may as well just skip over a few cars. So I skipped over Mater and Rich. I believe I also skipped over uh, some of the mini racers that I got after that Christmas. The Glow in the Dark 3 packs I don't think I ever reviewed. Um, so... Now, I am finally reviewing him. There's really not too much that's different between these two maters. Of course, he has a Fireball Beach Racer, so he has this paint overspray on him that's made to look like sand, or that he is uh, sandy. And as you can see, the main difference is that compared to this mater, this one is looking down. This mater has the original classic mater expression. This one seems to have the same expression, except the eyes are lower down, which actually causes him to have a completely different facial expression. His expression looks a, a bit less random and goofy like this one, and a bit more kind and caring. Of course, we have all your typical Mater details, the exposed engine, one headlight missing, the other there. Interestingly, he seems a bit darker than this Mater, like there's less of the paint overspray effect on it. I don't know if that's just mine, because it looks like there's more of the overspray effect on the engine. Again, that might just be mine. Um, I'm not too sure. Of course, we have more typical Mater details. The one headlight missing up top there, his mirror and everything. And on the side, we have the sand made to look like it's kind of been kicked back up. We also have sand all over his wheels. The yellow wheel back there, of course. There's a blue one on this side. Tow Mater towing and salvage radiator springs written on the side, although it's covered up by the sand there and all your usual typical Mater details. Even his tow cable is full of sand, which is a really nice touch. And you could just barely make out the A113 license plate there. Okay, well not barely, you could actually see it pretty well, but it is down there, of course, covered in sand and sand detailing. There is the other side, and here's the base, which I really like. Unfortunately, the bottom of the car isn't this like tan sand color. But the bottom of the wheels and the base are very similar to the Muddy Rusty's Racing Center McQueen, I think, with the way and there's this detailing kind of splattered across the wheels, but the bottom of the car is entirely that color. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and Robin Tails Fighter, I hope you have a great birthday. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now.